Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to make a 2D simulation in uh, OpenFoam from a mesh from Gmesh. So OpenFoam does not actually do pure 2D simulations, you have to have it 3D, but in order to perform a 2D simulation we extrude a 2D surface one layer so that it just becomes 3D, and then we just specify the front and back surfaces of the third dimension as empty in open foam and then effectively open foam will compute a 2d simulation so um, we've done in previous tutorials how to extrude a mesh in gmesh how to make a 2d mesh and extrude it so here's here's what we'll do here and we're emulating the cavity tutorial so we'll be using the same case as the cavity but we'll just make our own mesh in gmesh and then run it in the same case files so here we make one layer just for the 2D uh, uh, so that we can have a th quasi quasi 3D mesh in open foam. So um, and here these uh, these surface names match the specification in the cavity case. So you can find the boundary condition specifications in the zero folder. Um, so let's. I've I've kept the original directly copied from the piezo foam tutorial section into this folder called originals for your convenience. So let's make a copy of that. All right. Let's take a look, and we can see that inside zero, this is where all the boundary conditions are listed for the various uh, state variables and turbulence model variables. So let's take a peek at the velocity. So we can see that these are um, fixed value. So that's usually set for patches of type wall. And then we have the front and back, which are of type empty. So we have three boundary conditions in this case. Uh, so most tutorials in the OpenFoam library come with uh, block, block mesh uh, meshes where you can just call block mesh to generate the mesh, but obviously we won't be using that S um, when we'll be using we'll be generating mesh in Gmesh, so let's delete that. Alright. And so let's go ahead and generate our mesh from Gmesh. I'll put test.mesh. Alright, and now let's convert it and have it stored in our new case. So, case cavity. So now the mesh has been successfully converted and lies in constant slash polymesh. And we can see all these files where before this folder was empty. So, uh, after you use the conversion utility, you have to fix up the boundary file so that the boundary conditions matches the simulation files. For so here we have our three boundaries that we've specified in Gmesh, and they made it here. And we know that this is a wall. Uh, this is empty. And these these are walls. Uh, for a lot of other boundary conditions, uh, patch would be general. I mean, patch would work because they fall under that category. But there's certain specific ones that you need to specify f for. And wall and empty are, and symmetry plane are, are uh, included in those. Uh, those are specified on in the Open Foam reference manual. If you want to see the complete list. So now we are done. Um, so we can go ahead and run our case. It's called Piezo Foam. As you can see, it's running successfully. Our mesh has been successfully uh, imported and run on. So that's how you do a 2D simulation from GMesh to Open Foam. Thanks for watching and happy foaming.